Recently, news emerged that China has successfully flown a highly advanced airborne wind turbine. This turbine is capable of generating energy on the megawatt scale. The concept is still in its early stages of development, but the idea is simple. Harness energy at higher altitudes where wind speeds are stronger and turbulence is lower. The first turbine of this kind was launched in 2014 by an MIT startup called Alta Aeros Energies. The term coined for this type of energy generator was buoyant air turbine, or BAT for short. Three tethers connected the BAT to a rotating ground station, allowing it to automatically adjust its altitude to capture the strongest possible winds. The power generated by the turbine travels down one of the tethers to the ground station before being distributed to microgrids. The purpose of the buoyant air turbine was not to replace traditional wind turbines. Instead, its main goal was to deliver wind power to remote, off-grid areas where building conventional wind towers is neither practical nor economically viable. Installing a ground-based turbine typically requires weeks of groundwork and transporting large turbine components to remote sites poses significant challenges. The buoyant air turbine was flown at altitudes between 1000 and 2000 feet, which is approximately 300 to 600 meters. At these heights, winds are more consistent and average about twice the velocity and five to eight times the power density compared to winds near the ground level. In the United States alone, over 60% of the potential wind sites for tower-mounted systems were found to be uneconomical. Airborne wind technology offers the potential to bring affordable wind energy to such locations. Despite its promise and early prototypes, the Boeing wind turbine technology did not gain commercial traction in the United States. And this brings us to the recent test of China's S-1500 airborne wind turbine, which is one of the largest system of its kind ever developed. The S-1500 measures 60 meters long, 40 meters wide and 40 meters tall. It is helium filled and differs significantly from Alta Aero's design, which featured a single central turbine. The S1500 incorporates 12 turbines distributed around the annular space between the inner cone and the outer rim. The generators are made of carbon fiber to reduce weight, bringing the total weight of the turbine to just under one ton. The wind energy is converted to electricity within the airship and transmitted to the ground through a power cable integrated in the mooring line. SAWES, the developer of this energy generator, initially created the S500, which was capable of generating 50 kilowatts at an altitude of 500 meters. This was followed by the S1000, which operated at 1000 meters and produced 100 kilowatts. The S1500, on the other hand, generates 1 megawatt of power at an altitude of 1500 meters. At that height, wind speeds are roughly three times faster than those at ground level. This makes the system particularly useful for rescue operations and power supply in disaster-affected regions. A key engineering challenge for the airborne wind energy system is the helium leakage. SAWES reports that S1500 incorporates advanced containment and safety mechanism designed to prevent gas loss from the aerostat. These improvements are projected to enable continuous operation for more than 25 years. SAWES also has indicated plans for the development of a larger, higher altitude airborne wind turbine with greater power generation capacity, building upon the S500 platform. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.